When it comes to the battlefield, many people think that they could be well suited for a military life and even remain unswayed in all situations. But being a qualified soldier is hard work, mentally, physically, and emotionally. But every soldier is different, and not all military units worldwide are made from the right stuff, so to speak. For whatever reason, maybe these United Forces are just having a bad day or just having a little fun. The truth is, these soldiers are also humans, and even if it's embarrassing, they need our support. Here are 15 of the most embarrassing armies in the world. Number 15. Australia's Emu War It was a different time and a different place, but Australia has come a long way since the famous Emu War of 1932, especially in the conservation and protection of the nation's wildlife. But Australia's farmer livelihood was being threatened by gangs of emus, and like the American Wild West, these Audis ganged up and got guns, machine guns, and they filmed it. The very great, real Emu War of Western Australia. Soldiers with machine guns were deployed to fight off the flightless birds. Emus aren't just any bird, however. Emus can dash away at nearly 30 miles an hour, and if cornered, they kick. The toe claws of one of these animals are capable of eviscerating animals under the right conditions. But back then, Western Australian farmers had to protect their crops following the Great Depression, and the 20,000 emus migrating inland during breeding season were destroying their yields. The government deployed ex-soldiers from the First World War, and the soldiers requested the use of machine guns. But the bird prevailed in the end. Although the machine guns may have seemed like the best idea at the time, emus remain plentiful in Australia to this day. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. This image has become a popular meme in throwing shade at military units around the globe. It's meant to imply that the soldiers might not be skilled enough to properly protect the nation they serve. Maybe it's also a sly dig at the brains behind the brawn and meant to irritate the powers that be. It's many things. Out of real military context, we could be looking at a parade or celebration or maybe even performance art with a military theme. Perhaps these soldiers wearing fighter jets is the latest fashion trend disrupting the runaways of fashion houses around the globe. It's tough to say. It would make a pretty cool Halloween costume though. What do you think? Comment below using the hashtag OpenDiscussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. North Korea Although a powerful force in global politics and military warfare, North Korea has an unusual approach to showcasing their military prowess. The nation under Kim Jong-un rule loves to put on a show. The government likes to pull out all the stops the marching bands, the colorful flags, and the devoted revelers, with all the precision of an Olympic opening ceremony. Here, nuclear and missile on display are used to taunt new world leaders. They want the rest of the world to know that the country's main nuclear complex shows continued activity. So why not parade the missiles down the boulevard for all the world to see? Everybody loves a parade, right? But despite an impressive military presence, unfortunately, the dictator keeps losing soldiers. So. Kim Jong-un launched a serious investigation into his own military. Someone escaped into South Korea unnoticed, a huge no-no, calling for more control and discipline within the ranks. The North Korean dictator has tightened security in recent years, and less and less North Koreans are successfully escaping the country. It does not always work, however, but you can't blame someone for trying. Number 13. The Crazy Cornfield Bomber what is it about cornfields? From horror movies to alien crop circles, they seem to attract trouble. And this has to be one of the strangest events to ever involve a cornfield. This aviation mishap, known as the Cornfield Bomber, ended happily in February of 1970. But disaster was barely averted. Three F-106 Delta darts took off from an Air Force base near Great Falls in Montana on a routine training flight. One of the planes, piloted by Captain Gary Faust, entered into a flat spin. Not good. This is when an aircraft stalls and loses major altitude while spinning. Total loss of control. And no amount of spin recovery training was going to save the bomber. And at the last minute, when the airport dropped below 15,000 feet, Faust decided it was time to abandon ship. The pilot ejected from the plane. You'd not believe what happened next. 
Once Gary ejected from the plane, the weight reduction plus change in center of gravity caused by the pilot's ejection add on the blast force of his seat rocketing out of the plane and the nose of the bomber took a dip. Unbelievably, this changed the dynamics of the falling aircraft and it miraculously recovered the flight path, sort of. From his parachute, he watched incredulously as the now pilotless aircraft glided down to a halt on a wheat field. Number 12. Britain's Inflatable Army During the historic global conflict known as World War II, skirmishes between enemies were fought on land, sea, and air. But this division of the U.S. military did something very unique. They were known as the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops, aka Ghost Army. And forged together in battle, there were artists, audio experts, and specialized officers in the top secret unit trained in the art of deception. The Ghost Army Battalion fought not with bullets, but with the power of theater. Dim the lights, sound the orchestra, cue the explosions. Now it wasn't like an actual stage production, however. They combined various stage techniques using fake craft, inflatable versions of military vehicles, fabricated military markings, sound effects, even radio transmissions that were completely bogus on the battlefield to deceive the enemy. They used a strategy combination of science and art. The Ghost Army successfully executed over 20 missions between 1944 and 1945. Their efforts saved the lives of thousands of Allied soldiers. And in true top secret fashion, the Ghost Army's existence was kept secret for more than 40 years after the war's end and remained officially classified until the mid-1990s. Number 11. Portuguese Naval Fail As technology advances more and more, drones seem to be popping up everywhere. Online retailers have plans to use unmanned drones to deliver customer orders while internet providers are considering using drones to provide service to areas where there is little or no access and leaders around the world are very interested in showing off how much they have embraced drone technology. The Portuguese media, as well as Portugal's defense minister, gathered in Spain for the launch of the latest naval drone. And as you can see, the launch was not a success. The massed military personnel tried their best, but this drone was not going to take off. He moves towards the water and tosses the drone towards the sky like it was a paper airplane. The drone immediately nosedives into the sea. Splash! Could it be the fact that the drone looks more like a toy than a drone? Or perhaps they should have designed the drone to take off on its own. The worldwide embarrassment after the incident took the world by storm, and soon after, the official comment on the flubbed drone launch placed the blame on the masked person, not the shoddy design. They should have a few more test runs. Number 10. Tajikistan's Ramshackle Army in some countries, it's mandatory for its citizens to enroll in the military. Typically, it's only the males, and service to the country can last one to two years. But some nations around the world are desperate for soldiers. In Tajikistan, a country in Central Asia close to Afghanistan and China, the government has gone to questionable levels to recruit soldiers. All young men between the ages of 18 and 27 must serve. Unfortunately, many of the men who live there don't want to be in the military and haven't responded to the summons to fulfill their military service. So army recruiters have regularly resorted to kidnapping young men and forcing them to fulfill their mandatory military service. And the use of violence is not beyond the realm of recruiters' tactics. Men are forced against their will despite their loved ones' objections to obey. Young men know that their military service means terrible living conditions, routine beatings, humiliation, and being robbed by superiors. So obviously, they don't want to enlist. But because these men's families are often poor, there is little they can do to affect change. According to human rights activists, it's illegal under Tajik law. On top of that, at the end of their service, these men don't get any sort of benefits at all. Number 9. Russian Inflatable Trickery it's a well-known fact that sometimes you have to be creative when sending a message. You know, fake it till you make it sometimes. Perhaps that thinking was behind this decision to make inflatable versions of powerful military vehicles and airplanes in a hilarious attempt to trick the West. Russian authorities thought that blow-up versions of tanks, fighter jets, and missiles would believably convince the world that their superpowers as a nation were unmatched. Plus, it's way cheaper than the real thing. But these blow-up dolls are decoys that appear like lifeless like from as close as 300 yards away. The inflatable military convoy can also pop up and then vanish in mere minutes, the ultimate in soft power. When Russia insulates its military operations with methods like this, it's referred to in Russian as Maskirovka, 
or masking. It's meant to keep the enemy guessing and never revealing Russia's true intentions. Regardless, the inflatable military presence is quite impressive and really well made. So if they don't end up amping up Russia's appearance as a military superpower, these blow-up war toys could also be used in military training exercises. They'd look amazing in a parade or perhaps used in a movie, and they could also be the ultimate in real-time cosplay gaming. Just saying, Russia. Number 8. Spanish Sub Debacle This is going to be a valuable lesson for all students out there, especially those of you studying math. Decimal points matter. The scenario is as follows. The Spanish Navy was in the news yet again with a botched submarine issue. The original design of this sub from a Spanish state-owned defense company was a 232-foot, 2200-ton displacement vessel. But what they got when it was completed was a 265-foot, 3000-ton sub. Quite a significant difference, we'd say. And guess what happened next? Spain's new submarine cannot fit in its dock. So not only was the original order not fulfilled, now the sub's dock would have to be designed and adapted to accommodate the error. Although details are sketchy, apparently an incorrect decimal point in the design stages is the culprit. Easy mistake, right? The more serious matter at hand is the mistake was not the first problem with the doomed Spanish sub. In 2013, the Navy found out the sub was too heavy and that caused a buoyancy problem. So it needed a re design. The sub had to be lengthened to correct the issue, and now that the sub was longer, the base would have to be dredged and reshaped to accommodate the longer vessel. The cost for each was doubled. See, decimals do matter. Number 7. Iceland's Non-Existent Army There is a certain mystique and quiet dignity that Iceland naturally possesses. On top of the astounding natural beauty of the nation, they also approach life completely differently than people in the rest of the world. One major distinction that Iceland has is that they have no army and no traditional military presence. It's said that Iceland's small population is the reason why there's no army, but if you look back, Iceland hasn't shown any interest in establishing an army for a long time. During the Second World War, the U.S. took over Iceland's defense from the British, and this arrangement continued for years. In 1949, Iceland was a founding member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the sole member that did not have a standing army. Iceland would only sign the treaty on the condition that they would not be expected to establish an army. The bulk of national security of Iceland was therefore concentrated primarily in the Icelandic Coast Guard. They hold the fort for Iceland to this day. Iceland also has the National Commissioner's National Security and Special Forces Unit, kind of like America's SWAT teams. They're the only armed police in the land. Number 6. Norway's Penguin Platoon Sir Niles Olav, the penguin, was given a promotion yet again during a special ceremony at Edinburgh Zoo. The King of Norway's guard made a special visit to Scotland's Edinburgh Zoo in order to give the title of brigadier to the famous king penguin, Sir Niles Olav who, you should know, is already a knight. Penguin was knighted with the approval of King Harold V of Norway in 2008 because the aquatic bird is the mascot of his guard. And so, Norwegian guardsmen visit the penguins every few years ever since his adoption as their mascot in 1972. And with every visit, the King Penguin gets a new promotion. The knighted penguin was made a corporal in 1982, a sergeant in 1987, a regimental sergeant major in 1993, Honorable Regimental Sergeant Major in 2001 and Colonel-in-Chief in 2005. Now you might be thinking this penguin must be quite old, but in fact, there have been multiple knighted penguins and the tradition of promoting the knighted bird has become an integral part of Norway's cultural fabric, representing the close collaboration between Scotland and Norway. As for the King Penguin's knighthood, Niles was the first penguin to receive such an honor in the Norwegian Army. Number 5. Venezuela's Civilian Army there are many countries whose militaries face major shortages, and that includes qualified soldiers. So when Venezuela found itself in a tight situation, the government made a surprising decision. Many of its citizens had formed a civilian militia in a form of protest against outside involvement in Venezuelan manners, so the government brought them on board as part of the country's military. The People's Army now stands as a branch of the armed forces alongside the army, Navy, Air Force and National Guard. In theory, this administrative change would vastly expand the armed forces and is essential in keeping the current president in power. However, the addition to the country's military isn't particularly practical. The militia has existed since 2008, yet its members do not have the same thorough training as actual soldiers. 
Still, this makeshift army has participated in military deployments, protests, and with the help of their military intelligence, there's been active reduction in uprisings. The militia, created by late socialist leader Hugo Chavez, has been embraced by the government officials and the Venezuelan people. Its members are often security guards at government offices, hospitals, or train stations. Number 4. Andorra's Invisible Army have you ever heard of Andorra? It's one of the tiniest landlocked little countries tucked in between France and Spain. Kind of sounds like paradise, right? This invisible army guards Andorra well. Andorra's army is more of a concept than an actual physical military presence. As far as defense goes, Andorra has no army nor armed forces. However, the Andorran government does not have to fret about a war. More than half of Andorran citizens would be willing to fight an armed conflict for the country according to a national survey. The percentage of citizens willing to fight in a war in the latest survey would total over 40,000 troops. Not too shabby, right? Unfortunately, these civilian volunteers aren't trained in the art of war, but still, the invisible army would only come to life if the threat of war was imminent. Andorran military defense is based on long-standing signed treaties with Spain and France, so technically, the small country has both countries to have their back in a crisis situation. There is, however, a small volunteer army for ceremonial purposes. The present principality in Andorra was formed by a charter in 1278 and is divided equally between Spain and France, respectively. Number 3. Russian Missile Fail During a routine flex of military muscle, a Russian Navy ship tried and failed to launch a test cruise missile. Then this happened, and the missile fail went viral. The Marshal, aka Russia's upgraded military ship, tried to launch a test version of a trusted cruise missile, but the missile was not having it from the get-go. The struggle was real. Almost immediately after launch, the missile went onto an uncontrolled spin and crashed. The ship itself had a recent glow-up, however. The Marshal underwent repairs and an upgrade, and was converted into a multi-purpose warship capable of fighting targets on land and on the water the latest strike missile systems, and the most advanced artillery armament. Two versatile shipborne launchers for missiles and eventually for hypersonic weapons. The works! Its firepower was by all accounts next level. Just not today. The rocket left the launcher, rose in a spin, before crashing into the sea, posing a major threat to the newly renovated Marshall as it hit the water. You can see flames in the water close to the boat. Eventually, the missile burned out in the Pacific Ocean as the warship sped away. Number 2. Iraq's Ghost Soldiers We've heard of invisible armies, we've heard of inflatable ones, they even let penguins in the army, but this is not what you think. Iraq's army is very real and very powerful, but recently an investigation was launched into ghost soldiers. And no, it's not an army of spirits in a permanent state of unrest. The investigation has revealed that there were 50,000 false names on the payroll. They either did not exist or no longer reported for duty. However, their salaries were still paid. Smells like funny business at work, or maybe it's a clerical error. Of the 50,000 names included, soldiers who have deserted or were killed were still collecting checks. Several military officers said the significant lack of soldiers as a result of the ghost soldier situation has deeply impacted the performance of troops in battle currently. It's thought that the salaries were siphoned off by the corrupt officers, and if it was indeed corruption, it could be one of the reasons why Iraq has struggled to contain militants. Unfortunately, the U.S. has spent billions of dollars trying to build up the Iraqi army, but security forces were caught by surprise by an IS offensive last summer and lost huge swaths of territory in northern and western Iraq. Number 1. Liechtenstein Located between Switzerland and Austria is one of the world's smallest nations, Liechtenstein. And this small German-speaking nation has no military. It has a small police force and one of the lowest crime rates in the world. It became a haven for many people looking to escape the struggles of war. Liechtenstein did, however, send a small group of soldiers to serve in World War I. There was really nothing to do. There was no threat of war at the pass they guarded, so the soldiers just relaxed in the beautiful mountains, drinking wine and beer, smoking pipes, and taking it easy. And when the army marched back to the Liechtenstein capital, they had one more man they had left with. Who was this extra person? Some versions have it that the Liechtensteiners were enjoying themselves at the border and an Italian or Austrian soldier simply joined the group and decided to stay. 